Hi learners! Our topic for today is the kinds of set. We have 10 kinds of set. And this is based on grade 7 mathematics, quarter 1, week 1, lesson number 2. Hi math lovers! Are you ready? Let's learn! Have fun! Because mathematics is fun! Of set. We have 10 kinds of set. The first one is finite set or the finite set. A set that elements are limited or countable and its last element can be identified. Let's have our example. A is a set of all positive number less than 10. What is its element? A is equals to open brace 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, close space. Our second kind of set is infinite set, a set that elements are unlimited or uncountable. We denote an infinite set with three dots. Example, P is a set of all positive numbers. P is equal to open brace 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, D dots, meaning, and so on. There are unlimited numbers of elements inside it. Our third kind of set is unit set, a set with only one element. Let's have our example. X is a set of integer greater than 10 but less than 12. What is that? Yes, 11. X is equal to open brace, 11 close brace. We only have one element inside it. Our four kinds of set is the empty set, a set containing no objects or elements. The set is denoted by the braces with no elements, open and close braces, or the symbol zero and slash. It is also called a null set. Let's have our example. W is a set of months in a week. Do we have a month in a week? None. W is equal to open brace, close brace. There are no elements inside it. Kinds of set number 5. Universal set. It is a set of everything. It is the set U containing all objects. Example, U is the set of all letters in the alphabet. So we will name all the elements or all the letters in the alphabet. U is equal to open brace A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, C, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, close brace. Meaning all the letters in the alphabet. Universal set. Number six, subset. It is the set of another set or part of another set. We use the symbol, inclusion symbol, to represent a subset. Let's have our example. Set A is a set of all letters in the alphabet, while set B is a set of all letters in the word love. B is a subset of A. Example, A is equal to open brace A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, close brace. While set B is equal to open brace L, O, V, E. Meaning, set B or the elements of set B are part of set A. Number 7. Equal sets. Two sets are equal. Equal sign is used to denote this relation. And not equal sign if two sets are not equal. Let's have our example. Set X are numbers 1, 
2, 3, 4. And set Y are numbers between 0 to 5. X is equals to open brace, 1, 2, 3, 4, close brace. While Y is equals to X such that X numbers between 0 to 5. Set X and set Y are equal set. Kinds of set number 8. Equivalent set. Two or more set that have exactly the same number of elements. We use the symbol congruent for set equivalence. Example, set R is the set of numbers between 0 to 5. Set Y is the set of letters in the word care. Set R is equals to open brace, 1, 2, 3, 4, close brace. Set Y is equals to open brace, C, A, R, E, close brace. Set R is congruent to set Y. Number 9. Disjoint set. Two sets are disjoint if they have no elements in common. Example, O is the set of all odd numbers. Set E is the set of all even numbers. Set E is equals to open brace 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, close brace. Set O is equals to open brace 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, close brace. There are no elements in common. Number 10. Complementary set. Two sets are complementary with respect to a universal set if they are disjoint and if when joined together, they form the universal set. Example, set U is a set of numbers between 0 to 10. Set X is a set of even numbers between 0 to 10. Set Y is a set of odd numbers between 0 to 10. U is equals to open brace 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, close brace. Set X is equals to 2, 4, 6, 8, close brace. Set Y is equals to 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, close brace. If we will combine set X and set Y, we can create the universal set, set U. That is the complementary set. Based on our previous activity, you can easily identify the similarities and difference of an object. It will help us fully understand the definition of union and intersection of set. Goodbye! See you in our next class!